Hey guys, this is Dylan with Dynamis Alliance. I'm here to talk to you guys today about blade care. We've been getting a lot of emails in regards to taking care of the blades and upkeep of the blades. We want to just address all of them in this little video. All right, let's look at the blades. So all of our blades are made out of a high carbon steel. And what that gives you is a nice solid tip. So if I was to impact the ground or a bone or concrete, I'm not gonna have to worry about this blade chipping. What I do have to worry about is it rusting. So that high carbon is gonna allow for rust to build up pretty quickly on these things if you don't maintain it. So what we recommend is just keeping a light coating of oil on the blade at all times. If you're operating in a hot environment or you're sweating, just pull the blade out, take a peek. If you have some kind of surface buildup of sweat, just wipe it away. If you do get a, a surface buildup of rust, what you can do is just take a little bit of cleaner, put it on the blade, take some steel wool, rub some steel wool on it until this rust comes off, wipe it down and you'll be fine. Let's look at sharpening the blade now. Because it's a high carbon steel, it's gonna be harder to sharpen, but it's gonna keep the edge longer. The Winklers put a very unique grind on the blade, so if you do have a hard time sharpening it, you can send it back to the Winklers and they can sharpen it, or you can have a professional sharpening service do it. The way that the blade impacts the sheath, and if you can see in there, there's that handle material, which is called micarta. The way it impacts the clip, it could affect how deep the blade sits if you have a buildup of micarta. So if you have a little bit excess there, depending on the blade. Once again, these things are custom, guys, so every blade is gonna be a little different. We have a really in-depth QC process that we've been really paying attention to that micarta and making sure that all these blades sit nicely. But we have had some that have gone and released or they've been circulating that uh, don't sit as well. So what you could do is you could take a file, you could take a Dremel and just Dremel that just last bit of material right here on the blade until it fits inside of the sheath. The sheath itself, uh, when you're looking at putting this on your body, all I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna clip it to my belt. This isn't a belt clip. This is a pants clip. So I'm gonna clip it to the actual material, whether I have sweatpants, board shorts, whatever it is. If I'm wearing a belt, I'm gonna go behind the belt. So I'm gonna go right to the material itself and push it into it and it'll seat and then I can conceal it. Now when I go to draw the blade, and I come up, I don't have to worry about the whole sheath coming out with me. I also don't have to worry about breaking the clip itself because it's overextended. When I wanna take the sheath out, I simply lift on that uh, little lip right here and I'm gonna push it straight up and towards me. Okay, now I can pull the blade out, nice and easy. We spent a lot of testing and evaluation, training and experience building these blades. Our goal was to serve you guys so whether you're operating in a covert or an overt environment, you have the best tool possible to do your job. If you take care of your equipment, your equipment will take care of you. Now, if there was something to come up where just use of the blade, average use of the blade has worn it down over time or there's some kind of damage to the blade itself, you can send the blade back to the Winklers. They have a lifetime warranty and they'll fix whatever uh, happened to go wrong with your blade. If you're looking for more information about Winkler Knives, just go to winklerknives.com. And if you want more information about us and what we do, or you're looking to buy one of the blades, you can go to crusheverything.com. You can find out all the information about training and equipping yourself to deal with modern day threats. I'm Dylan with Dynamis Alliance. Keep crushing it.